Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial for beginners. Today we are going to talk a little bit about introduction of Angular for our viewers who are joining us new and who are trying to learn Angular from basic. This is the part one. I have covered part zero where I've tried and answered few questions that a lot of you have been asking me in the comment section, especially after Angular 9. So do check out uh, the I'll create a full Angular playlist for you here and I'm planning around 75 tutorials in this particular series. I will try and bring daily two tutorials for you so that we cover it over a period of say one, one and a half month. After that, I can assure you that you would be a master in Angular. I will update the playlist link in the description box below. I will also update the GitHub link to the notes and the code that we will do as part of this particular series. Alright, so let's talk about what is Angular, why you should learn it. Angular is a, is a front-end framework that makes it easy for you to develop and build applications for both mobile and web. Angular is an open source project sponsored and primarily maintained by Google. Angular is a modern framework built entirely in TypeScript, which means we can now natively write our code in TypeScript itself instead of JavaScript. A lot of you have been thinking that, is TypeScript a new language? Do I have to learn extra? No. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, which means whatever you could do with JavaScript, you could do you can do the same with TypeScript plus much much more. TypeScript allows us to implement classes, objects and much much more in a more elegant way than JavaScript. That's what makes it much powerful. The Angular documentation not only supports TypeScript, but it uses it as its primary language. That means when you start learning Angular, you are going to write your code in TypeScript. We will learn how to compile TypeScript. We will write some basic code for TypeScript as well as part of our learning. And we will make sure that you are totally comfortable with Angular and TypeScript in this particular series. All right, so now let's talk quickly about some of the striking features of Angular and why you should learn it or what makes it stand out. So unlike the other frameworks, right, like React or Vue, Angular is a little bit more of a framework. Like if you see React, it doesn't come with the entire packaging of routing or HTTP and etc. But although we need, so which is also a good in a way that you don't, you're not imposed. But Angular itself, the framework itself has all the batteries that we need to run and get our application up and running. Angular has exceptional scaling and performance. It's cross-platform, which means there is mobile, web and desktop apps that can be written in Angular. It's a single page application. So if you see when you build an Angular application, the output will have only JS files and that to three, right? It won't have anything because it's a single page application. We will learn all about it as we progress. If you have any doubts during this particular thing, hold on, drop them in the comment section. We will revisit them as we progress in this particular series. TypeScript language, like I said, it's a beautiful language. It's powerful language which through which we can do a lot of stuff. The Angular language uses declarative templates through which we can use interpolation, data binding, much, much more. Also, there is a design pattern called de dependency injection through which we can inject services which are common or reusable code that is written in your application. Angular comes with a beautiful end-to-end -end tooling, a lot of good compilation tools. We'll learn all about that, like IV tool, it has Protractor, Karma for testing, and much, much more. So the tooling has been taken care, which helps developers debug application issues faster. The entire application is written in a modular architecture, which means we will learn how to develop modules and based on that, we will start progression of our applications. Surprisingly, you would see that which e with each version of Angular, the builds have become smaller, which means your application now runs faster and quicker loads quickly. And that's what results in performance of your application. 
all right so let me let's talk a little bit about technical overview i will not go into too much of this jargon because i don't want to waste time in theory but we would rather cover all of this detail in detail in the coming sections so technical overview we have module driven pattern we have component based architecture which means we will create components which are the smallest pieces of angular application we have templates we have services we have interpolation data binding directives pipes routing http testing compilation build deployment all of it we are going to learn in this particular series i know a lot of you have been asking some of the leftover questions from angular 9 i will try and cover each and every question here which will help you master angular all right finally for our viewers who are joining us new on angular 10 why should you learn it's the latest bust tech stack it pays more in the market it's in demand there are a lot of job opportunities and since you already know javascript it makes sense that you progress your career into typescript right where you can easily start building apps because of the ecosystem provided by angular and it's from google which means it's reliable it's here for long term a lot of google's applications are written in angular which means you are no you should not be left out and you should learn end to end if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section i will try and create a section in each episode where i will spend some time answering your questions please do let me know if you your questions and doubts in the comment section in the next uh, episode we'll talk about version history compare all the versions so far and we'll also talk about some releases and how it how you should upgrade your apps it's going to be a interesting and fun journey friends thank you so much for joining please do support please do let me know if you have any doubts i'll see you in the next episode we'll talk about version history and compare all the versions so far thank you so much see you in the next episode